Nets Nation, it's your boy AJ, so we're back, we finally made it y'all, day one of training camp has begun today, shout out Nets gang, shout out Nets Nation, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, so interesting part of day one of training camp, um, I'm going to read a quick few notes first, and then I'm going to let you guys listen to the Paul Millsap and Marcus Aldridge interview that I have later in this video. But um, the first thing I want to go out and point out and it was the Brooklyn Nets training camp is they dropped the roster, as you guys see here on the screen. You got LaMarcus Aldridge, Ben Bree, Bruce Brown, Devontae K. Cook, Javon, <laughs> Devontae, Javon Carter, Nicholas Claxton, Sekou Dumbaya, David Duke Jr., Kevin Durant, Kessler Edwards, Blake Griffin, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kyrie Irving, James Johnson, Patty Mills, Paul Millsap, Dayron Sharp, and Cam Thomas. So a, a few a interesting thing is Dayron Sharp was listed as six nine, which I don't know. It's I guess and Cam Thomas is listed as six three. So this could be without shoes on. We're not totally sure, but it looks like they kind of got shorter. You know, Dayron was coming out of college. I thought he was six eleven, and Cam was six five. But it looks like Cam is listed as six three and Dayron as six nine. It could be with it could be done without shoes off. But again, these guys are only nineteen, so they could grow. Um, and then I'll read a quick few notes. Alex Schiffer said here some notes from day one of Nest Camp. Steve Nash thought Lamarcus Aldridge looked good, didn't know what to expect with his situation, and liked what he saw. Lamarcus said he felt good too. You guys will see in the interview. Um, Cam Thomas can still score, and Steve Nash didn't get into the Kyrie situation. Um, and then I have another here. Brian Lewis said Kyrie was at practice today at San Diego. They worked on everything, but defense was a top priority getting the scheme down. Um, Brian Lewis said he asked Nash how worried he was at prospect of Kyrie missing some home games due to his vax stance. He said that wasn't his focus right now. Camp was things could change day to day in so many ways, as we saw last year. Right now, we're just focused on camp. So, yeah, very just interesting facts. You know, it was day one. I didn't expect a lot of news. It's just everybody's feeling each other out, practice, you know, um, just getting conditioning back, getting game speed back. It looks like they are working on defense, which is a good thing. Um, but, yeah, not, not too much notes. It's just interesting to see the, the roster battle, who's going to get cut, who's going to make the team. That is probably the most interesting part of training camp. And as these training camp situations, uh, as these days go by, it's going to be good to see who's doing well, who scored on, you know, who's going doing good during the drills. All those little notes we got to take, um, really look at because those things are important. How you do well in game speed, how you do well in drills, how you do well in um, five on five, three on threes. These guys are trying to make the team, so all this stuff matters. All this stuff matters. I know to like the veterans, it probably doesn't matter, but to the to the guys that are trying to make the team, those little things matter. You know, what I'm saying, making sure you go game speed. You know, making sure you hit your reads right, making sure you dribble. You know, what I'm saying, everything has to be correct. Everything has to be on point on 100 percent for these guys to make the team. And it's just gonna be interesting to see how that works. Um, let me know how you guys feel about day one of training camp. Are you guys? worried about Kyrie. I mean, Kyrie was there. Kyrie and Katie were there and the the whole every everybody was there. Everybody was there. So, how do you guys feel about day 1 of training camp? Let me know in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe. I'm going to play you guys the um LaMarcus Aldridge interview and the Paul Millsap interview. So, let me know what you guys thought. And also, again, the Steve Nash interview, it wasn't that much. He just talked about he wasn't going to um, talk about Kyrie's situation. They kept asking him over and over about Kyrie's situation, and he didn't want to respond to that. So it wasn't that much of the um, on-court interview. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's your boy. It's Ness Kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. I'm out. The work the bodies and maybe kind of get more out of it and their career a little bit. That, was that part of your thinking at all when you chose here, or was it just, hey, this is the team with a shot to win the championship? And I like the way they play. I mean, the more you, you study a, a team, I mean, uh, the team that recruits do, you look at all the pieces that they got in the organization, um, you, you, you notice when you find those things. You know, and, um, through the process, you know, I've seen what type of performance that they had. Um, and since I've been here, man, they've done an amazing job. So uh, hopefully we keep it up.
Paul, you know how good this this team can be, but what did you see and feel today in your first practice with them? Um, just that. <laughs> you know, the talent's there for sure. Uh, first day of practice, so, you know, shaking off the cobwebs, cobwebs, you know, trying to get our conditioning back. You know, that's all the first day of practice is about. Making steps, so, a lot of defense, you know, trying to get guys locked in on that, get principles locked in, and, you know, just work at it. Oh man, yeah. Every team I've been on, he's been on, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Um, but man, now he brings energy, experience. You know, he's a big time scorer, a big time playmaker, and he just brings that that uh, you know a spark off the bench. I feel like you know. He's been in that role. He's played that role, so it's a good point. You touched on this a little bit yesterday, but just, you know, as you were kind of making a comeback yesterday, how much were you able to be in the gym every day? You know, you doing any rest today, or you been in the gym? I was in the gym. Uh, I had my own, my own gym in my crib, so I was in the gym every day. Um, first minute or so, maybe some rush, but after that, I felt good. I was born, you know, just being myself, so I definitely had some time to uh, put some work in where I didn't go back to that. Everybody just competed, man. It's early. It's, you know, it's day one, so it's, you know about drills and you know trying to put in principles. So it was a, a good first day. Perfect. There was a time where you didn't think that this might happen. Take a moment to soak it in. Think about that at all when you came out to the court. A little bit, you know. Try to be more present. Try to enjoy every moment a little bit more. You know, when it first started, it felt kind of weird. You know, because I was just, you know, at the house or whatever. So I think that's why my start was, you know, a little rough. But after that, I realized I was on the court. You know, my instincts, you know, I kicked in and I was ready to go. Thanks, guys.